Welcome back, PlayStation Nation. Welcome back to PNC Insight. I'm back, and you're probably wondering where I've been, but yeah. I'm thinking I'm back. Anyways, fantastic news this week. PlayStation finally announced the PlayStation Showcase of 2023. Thank God it's been two years, and I hope Sony never pulls this again. But anyways, guys, let's get into it. <laughs> So yes, it's been two years since we got the last showcase. It was at September 2021, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. It was near the fall around the time. Yeah, that's when they did God of War reveal, gameplay reveal, I think. It's, it's, it's been a minute. I didn't really care for that showcase. Sorry, no, they did Spider-Man 2 reveal, God of War gameplay, and the Wolverine announcement. Which The last 10 minutes was fantastic, but the, prior to that was like kind of mediocre. But we're back. We finally got some new stuff coming here uh some stuff you already know and we get some finalized stuff from phase one the, the ps5 cycle so i'm going go down this list of what we're going to see is this so this video is going to be like a predictions or some of the expectations maybe maybe a dream game here and there too i might throw in this video but who knows but let's go so final fantasy 16 releases next month i think we'll get like a final trailer and some gameplay tidbits here and there i think it's gonna be the final trailer before launch it's coming out june i can't remember june something and uh you know the deal final trailer a little bit of gameplay pre-order now whatever i think that's just gonna be like the father of the uh, announcement because we already know what final fantasy 16 is so they're gonna throw it out quickly following up with final fantasy final fantasy 7 rebirth so i think this game's coming out maybe next year i don't think it's coming out this year because they're gonna focus on final fantasy 16 for this year it'd be nice i can see it releasing like late this year but i can also see it releasing around spring of next year uh, Final Fantasy VII, or the remake, it was a huge success for PlayStation and Square Enix. And the sequel is going to be even grand before. People love the uh, Final Fantasy remake, and so we're going to get a sequel to that. So that's exciting. And my most anticipated game of this, probably the entire showcase, is Spider-Man 2. I'm a huge Spider-Man PS4 Miles Morales fan. I love those games. And I've been saying Insomniac is probably my favorite developers. And that studio has not missed. And they've been carrying the PS5 this entire generation with fun, great quality games. And Spider-Man 2 seems to be continuing that trend. For Spider-Man 2, this uh, showcase, I think we're going to get another trailer and obviously gameplay. Though I do think they're going to hold back a little bit. We're going to get like a gameplay uh, state of play later this year prior to release. So we get some more Spider-Man 2 this year, definitely, like the day with God of War. Can't wait for that. So here's the iffy one here. Wolverine got announced in 2021 along with Spider-Man 2. Wolverine's a later game, though. I think it's been hinted for a 2024, 2025 game, if I'm not mistaken. So I got it maybe on my list here maybe slight gameplay um we won't see like that ui anything just like gameplay spicing between the cutscenes a little here and there it's gonna be a lot of gameplay i can see this game releasing uh i always said fall 2024 made that the major fall game ps5 wolverine coming off the success with insomniac and spider-man um wolverine's another iconic comic book character ip that people are gonna love and i think this game's gonna be a linear more experience compared to spider-man 2 probably something in vain to something like god of war maybe uh but i can see this releasing fall next year if not they can push it back to 2025 I, literally when it comes to insomniac i don't care take your time they known proven multiple times they can make quality games and if it doesn't comes out late next year i'm good but i think it's gonna be a great game so i'm um, if you're on wolverine's seeing more this year uh, like a trailer or a slight gameplay i don't know but i'm just going through it in the air for a second so Last of Us Factions has been a conversation with PlayStation topics for a very long time now. And I think we're going to finally see a trailer reveal and gameplay with this showcase. I don't know the release date. Some speculating next year. I wouldn't be surprised if it's coming out late this year. It's a multiplayer. I think it's going to be one of Sony's major um, games and service titles. I wouldn't be surprised if it comes late this year. But I think it's been, was it last year? Neil Druckmann stated it's going to be releasing like, was it last year stated it was releasing late this year or 2024? I can't remember. Um, again, like Wolverine, I can't predict the reveal date for this game, but I know for a fact we're gonna see some trailer and gameplay of that game. It's a huge The Last of Us won multiplayer, so really success. Um, something Sony never really I guess, I guess promoted enough. Because you know, Last of Us is known for a story mode. Granted, it's great. We really never got much emphasis on the uh, Last of Us multiplayer back in the day, and it seemed like Sony gonna use that that popular side of the, the franchise as a game to service. And again, I think it's gonna be one of Sony's major games of service going forward. And speaking of games of service, I'm saying a lot is Horizon uh, Games of Service has been leaked a couple of months back and it's real. The art style is completely different. It's more like a Fortnite esque art style, but it's in a uh, Horizon universe. Use the same mechanics from Horizon games. It seems like it'd be like a Monster Hunter esque type of multiplayer game. 
from what the screen grabs look, uh, it looks fun. I can see how this works too. Um, I can see this like cosmetics, different armors and weapons you can upgrade and all that stuff through multiplayer. I can see this happening. I think we're gonna get like a, um, maybe, are we seeing screenshots of it? So I can see gameplay uh, and definitely a trailer obviously, but I can see a little gameplay here and there. But we're gonna see more of that game down the road. So Sucker Punch has been quiet for a while now and their last title was Ghost of Tsushima and they also did a PS5 uh, upgrade uh, about what, two years ago, I believe. Um, Yeah, Ghost of Tsushima 2, I can see happening, but you know, honestly, hot take. I know we got superheroes with Spider-Man, but I'd rather have a another infamous game. They won't probably touch that for a while. <laughs> I would love to though. But Ghost of, Tsushima, Ghost of Tsushima 2 is likely is happening. When it's gonna announce like official date, not anytime soon, but I think we're gonna get a reveal of Ghost of Tsushima 2 going forward. Uh, we probably see this game again, maybe. This is definitely a 2025 game. It ain't coming out anytime soon. Um, unless you think two years is soon, but yeah, Sucker Punch has been quiet again, so I think that's gonna be the next announcement for PS5. Also, a game I think is coming out this year is Stellar Blade. We're gonna get another trailer, gameplay, and off the release date. It's been speculated release in the summer. I think it's gonna come out around like August, September, maybe. Can't wait for this game. Looks like a Ninja Gaiden inspired uh, action game. Looks really fun. Cool characters. It's just action based, and I can't wait to play this. Up next, we got PSVR 2. Uh, so, we heard a PSVR. I didn't report it on PS Insight, sadly. But PSVR 2 sales has been iffy. It didn't really hit Sony expectations. Uh, the games are good, I guess. Uh, you don't hear much conversation about it because a lot of people have a PSVR 2 too. So I think they probably make tone back on their scissor reel. I think they have a PSVR 2 scissor reel, a few indie games and any supported title games and full fledged uh, VR 2 games. I don't know what to expect from VR uh, 2. Uh, those games are unpredictable to predict. I don't know, but we're going to see some PS. Well, they officially said it's going to be PSVR 2 stuff, so I don't know what we're going to see. But I think it's going to be like a small scissor reel. I don't know how long it'll last. Maybe these first party studios got a game hiding for PSVR 2. I don't know. Again, I can't say. Next is Bluepoint Games. So it's been rumored. Well, they got acquired about two years ago from PlayStation. And it's been rumored that they're working on a new game or a remake. That's up in air. It could be literally anything, but I do know we're going to see that Bluepoint Games uh, new IP or remake in its showcase. Also, the one I literally forgot until I did my research is Silent Hill 2 Remake. We're going to get some trailer and gameplay. I think we'll get a remake trailer and gameplay here, but I think Konami will do their own, I guess, quote unquote, showcase for this game going forward. They're treating this like Resident Evil. Uh, it's going to be its own thing, like something unique and special. And so all the Silent Hill fans can go to that and watch that. But I think we're going to get a, a trailer and gameplay here. Speaking of horror, I guess, Death Stranding 2 gameplay and trailer going to be here too as well. Kojima has been walking around with Sony for the past couple of months doing photo shoots and meetings and all this stuff. It's definitely going to be here uh, at the showcase. It's been revealed last year around uh, Game Awards and we see more of that game next week. So I got a list of three rumors here and you know me and my philosophy of PS Insight is I don't like reporting rumors, but these rumors has been literally <laughs> rumored for like years now, uh, I guess three to five years now. So I'm gonna go down the list, there's only three here. So Twisted Metal, Twisted Metal's a PS1 franchise and it kind of just died off. And you know, the recent they real real the live action Twisted Metal TV show or movie, whatever it is, I, something. Uh, I think it's a, I didn't watch the trailer yet. I have no interest watching that show. Uh, I played the games back in the day on the PS1. Fun little card games or whatever. But I think they're gonna do a new game. And here's the thing no one's talking about. Here's my prediction. I think it's gonna be a gas title. A game is a service title for Twisted Metal. Customize your car, your vehicle with weapons and crazy stuff, to all that. It's perfect for a game as a service title. I can see Sony doing that. Make it tie in with the TV show a little bit, like play as that character, get his car in that game for free or whatever. You know, the sh shenanigans of that stuff. Marketing deals between those two games and shows. And I can see that happening as a game's title. So that'd be cool to play it though. I didn't have a PS5 game. What was that PS5 game that came out with the PS5 launch? I can't remember, but it can be something similar to that, but more crazy. Make it feel like Rocket League a little bit with guns. That'd be really fun. Next is, it's so interesting here. I might have to go in detail with this later on. So Metal Gear Solid Remake has been really rumored lately for the PlayStation. I don't know what's going on there with that, but Metal Gear Solid has been in the eyes of people in terms of remakes. And maybe that's why Kojima's involved. I don't know. Does he own that IP? Well, no, he doesn't own the IP, clearly. Konami owns IP, but 
what's the relationship with him and that IP, uh, other than being the uh, the one who created these characters and all that stuff? I don't know. Uh, but people have been speculating this for a very long time. I don't. I know it's a rumor, but I can see it happening. But I wouldn't be surprised if it don't happen. I'm not a Metal Gear Solid fan at all. I played Peacekeeper on PSP, and that was okay. Uh, I also played the F Gear Phantom Pain. I think what's the one before Ground Zero? I think. I think it was called. I can't remember. Played that. And it was just. I, it doesn't click with me. Uh, I don't hate the franchise or nothing. Just I never really cared to play any of them. And here's an interesting one. So PlayStation released this cool PlayStation ad earlier this year and showed like Spider-Man 2 T's and Arise and I think God of War was in there too. But it also showed this girl with a torch in her hand. And your first thought would be, is it Tomb Raider? But no, it was not Tomb Raider. It might be Uncharted 5 and it could be his daughter. That could be a thing here. So I think Uncharted 5 could be a thing. I don't know. It's not gonna be Drake. He can be in the story, but he's not the main character. He can be like, a, he can be like the Sully of this, this new character going forward. Maybe, just, just, just a guess. Or it can be an entirely different character. Either way, I don't know who's developing it, um, but I think it's gonna be a new story, new characters. That teaser was really weird because we don't know what that game connects to because it's a character in a tomb with a torch and you get like this Uncharted Tomb Raider, Indiana Stones vibes from it, and what PlayStation owns and charted. So, is this a new game with a new character or what? I don't know. Hope that's real. I'm a huge fan of Uncharted games. There's also been speculation that Naughty Dog's not developing this, and that's going to be iffy on me. I don't know. There's some saying uh, some other studios are developing it. I can't remember the studio off the top of my head right now, but it's not going to be Naughty Dog. It's going to be someone else because Naughty Dog made it clear that they're done with uncharted but i think they mean they're in done with drake's story with drake's story is done clearly um even though i would love a game with him again i respect the developers don't want to make a new story with him great but you want to do a new character with new well same familiar mechanics with new things in it i'm all for it and i can't wait anyway guys what you guys think is coming into the playstation showcase next week uh i haven't made a video in, in a while i'm kind of rusty you can tell through this video but uh yeah i can't wait i'm really hyped I was looking at some videos earlier. I was eating breakfast and I'm just so hyped. I miss PlayStation's back, baby. They're, they're my bread and butter when it comes to gaming. I can't wait to see more from them going forward. And they've been really quiet lately. We know we got this Microsoft Activision deal going on. And some people say that was part of the, them being quiet. And you know, PlayStation has this new marketing strategy now where they kind of just, just be quiet until they have to say something, which is the reasonable thing to go for. But they kind of start the problem where they announce things way too early and have fans eager to play the new games and they're constantly counting down days and fans constantly telling them like hey where's this game so it's more on them they want to release these games when they're ready or talk about these games when they're close to ready you know so anyway guys thank you for watching take care